Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Remove the two 3.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws identified with keyboard icons on the fans that secure the keyboard to the top cover. Place the notebook on its side and open the display panel. While supporting the notebook and keyboard, insert a keyboard release tool into the opening in the top cover and gently press the keyboard to partially release it from the top cover. Tow the tabs on the front edge of the base enclosure into the cutouts in the top cover and place the base enclosure into position. Turn the notebook right side up. Lift the rear edge of the keyboard and rotate the keyboard toward the front of the notebook until you have access to the point stick, keyboard, and keyboard backlight ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Caution, take care not to scratch the top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the point stick ZIF connector and disconnect the point stick ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard from the base enclosure. Replacement. Position the keyboard on the notebook so that you have access to the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the keyboard backlight ribbon cable into the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the point stick ribbon cable into the point stick ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution, Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Rotate the keyboard toward the center of the notebook and insert the tabs on the front of the keyboard into the slots on the top cover. Lower the keyboard into position and press along the edges of the keyboard to secure it to the top cover. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Lift the rear edge of the base enclosure and remove the retention tabs on the front edge of the base enclosure from the cutouts in the top cover. Replace the two 3.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws identified with keyboard icons on the fans that secure the keyboard to the top cover.